right, here's our geeky science. Is that our geeky science music? It's not. It is? Oh, it is? Okay, cool. It's time for geeky science. Uh, but it just, you know, it's the three minutes I get every day that Sean and Louise give me to, uh, to talk about one of my favorite topics that's not politics, and that's science. Right now, a 12-year-old Arkansas girl, a little girl by the name of Callie Hartig, is clinging to life after she was infected with the rare and extremely deadly brain-eating parasite Nail gla- Glaria, Nail Glaria Fowleri, or N. Fowleri, F O W L E R I, F O W L as in bird. According to the website The Verge, N. Fowleri is, quote, a fatal infection without an effective treatment and one that strikes in a decidedly gruesome manner. An amoebic organism lurking in water is inadvertently inhaled during a swim on a hot summer's day. From there, it travels through the nasal passage and into the brain, where it multiplies, devours one's cerebral fluid and gray matter, and almost invariably causes death. Hardig was playing in a freshwater pool and water park when the parasite is presumed to have entered her body. Not a single human being ever has been known to have survived such an infection in the past decade that we have been tracking them, but currently Hardig is in critical but stable condition. Doctors are also trying out an experimental drug on her that they say may be the key to fighting off this brain-eating parasite and saving her life. And while Hardig's condition is rare, here's the kicker. It may become far more common in the United States in the future. And that's because N. fowleri is one of several organisms that actually benefits from global warming and climate change. Yes, take it up with Jim Inhofe. According to Michael Beach, a Centers for Disease Control and Prevention expert in recreational waterborne illnesses, N. fowleri is a heat-loving amoeba. As water temperatures go up, it does better. In future decades, as temperatures rise, he said, we would expect to see more cases. And as that website, The Verge, noted, quote, in recent years, N. fowleri has popped up in unexpected locations, which some experts suggest is a sign that warmer waters caused by brutal summer heat waves and rising temperatures across the country are catalyzing their spread. The fact that climate change is helping to promote the growth of such a deadly and debilitating condition is pretty damn frightening. And even more proof that we need to be doing more to fight back against global warming, the greatest threat our planet has ever faced, being brought to us today as we speak by the Koch brothers, ExxonMobil, BP, and the rest of the dirty fossil fuel industry.